Hey guys, it's Greg of Vanguard Motor Sales. Man, I got a cool one for you today. 2020 GT500, just over 1,500 miles on this baby, and look at that paint. This is called Velocity Blue, and that's because it is very loud, baby. She is gorgeous. Now, I had one that was Performance Blue, and I thought I liked that car, but you wanna talk about sweet? Man, she is absolutely gorgeous. Now, if you look real close, I can tell it's had clear bra put on the hood. So that's gonna cut down on your um, stone chips. And then it's on the front fenders just back to here. So that's gonna really help it. Oh, I guess there's the line on the hood too. It's just on the very front of the hood. Super, super cool. Of course, this is a golden ticket, so it does have the carbon fiber wheels, the carbon fiber uh, wing, the carbon fiber dash, and I, I am in love with this car, I'll tell you what. I've had the privilege of putting about 17,000 miles on a couple of them, and they're just a hoot to drive, fast as grease lightning, I tell you. And of course, the uh, golden ticket cars do not have the back seat, cutting down on weight. She is a beauty. Then the carbon fiber wing down here, I think, uh, it's 500 and some odd pounds of pressure. Once you're hitting uh, pretty high speeds, this baby puts down, really sticks that ass in down to the ground. But what's really cool about this car is it's got a regular trunk in it. And I guess I can pop that for you and you can take a look. Now, we drive mine everywhere. I mean, we went asparagus hunting last night on the side of the expressway and we drove the Mustang, baby. See, there's plenty of room in there. We fill this baby up with groceries when we go to the grocery store. Heck, I've even had it to the home improvement store and putting stuff back there. I like driving them. As you look down the side, you can see just absolutely gorgeous. The stance on it's amazing. I mean, just everything about the car is amazing. I mean, there's no blind spots. I mean, I've had a blast with these cars and I hope you will too. So give us a call at 248. 974-9513 and let Vanguard Motor Sales park this dream in your driveway. car <laughs> velocity blue i tell you what my blue car got a lot of attention i think this one's going to get even more attention what a cool color it is man you want to talk about sweet she is absolutely gorgeous now these things are just so cool you've got all kind of track settings you can mess with uh you got all kinds of sensors I mean, the radio is awesome. I mean, just everything about the car is just amazing, guys. I mean, it's basically a race car that you can drive on the street. Um, what I do when I get in my car is I always put it in track mode, which is the uh, little button down here on the dash that says mode. You just, uh, to get it in track, or actually I put it in sport mode, not in track mode. So you put it in sport mode, it changes the shift pattern a little bit, changes what the dash looks like, can see what gear you're in there. You're in third gear there. I mean, just it's just cool as heck. And then you've got another button down here to control your exhaust tone. There's four different settings on that. And then you can also turn off traction control and advanced track. Advanced track is that stability. So if you're gonna do donuts or whatever, you wanna turn off that stability control. And the way you do that is you hold up on the button for like five seconds and then you'll see a pop up on the dash that says turned off uh, advanced track. And then of course, there's all kind of other track apps and everything. I'd suggest going on YouTube and learning about it. There's hundreds of videos on it. Plus in the manual, it tells you how to do it. Um, it's got a line lock on it. So if you want to take it to uh, the track, 
Uh, it's got launch mode on it. I mean, just you can set your RPMs for your launch. Just everything, guys. So Tom answers his phone seven days a week and practically 24 hours a day. So you can call him anytime you'd like. He'll tell you all about this beautiful car. Now we're always getting new inventory in, so make sure you check out the website often. You never know what we'll get in tomorrow. Now we're gonna actually go back to the shop right now. We're gonna put this brand new car up on the lift so you can see exactly how nice it is. I mean, even being a 2020, obviously it's got 1,528 miles on it. Very, very well kept throughout the uh, time that the previous owner had it. Oh, I wanna tell you about one more thing here. I'll stop right here so I can tell you about it. I just learned this with mine. Now, when you fire these things up in the garage, they make quite a bit of noise and I drive mine daily. You can actually go into the app if you sign up for the Ford app and you can set your car to start in whisper mode. It doesn't make it completely quiet, but it really cuts down. That's just a tip to keep your wife from being pissed off. All right, we're underneath the Mustang now, and man, she is clean under here. Right back here, it's got the uh, quad tips back here, and then if you look inside that one, you can see that baffle in there. That baffle is what does the four different settings of the exhaust uh, noise. Of course, underneath here is just clean as a whistle, 373 gear in here, and it does have the cooler and a temperature sensor in here. So basically, the fluid comes out, goes through a cooler back here, and comes back in the rear end housing. That's more for racing. That's really not real effective or doesn't do much if you're just highway driving it. But if you're racing this thing, man, this thing gets hot, that fluid does. These lower control arms are just some freaking beasts of, I mean, great big old chunk of uh, aluminum here. We got extra braces there holding everything in place. Just everything, sway bar here, just, just solid as a rock back here, planting all that horsepower to the ground. We've got, um, all these heat shields here looking sweet. Of course, the exhaust also looking sweet. That's what's making the nice tone. Now up front here, we've got that uh, seven speed um, transmission. Now there's a lot of confusion, a lot of talk about it. You know, no, everybody hates automatic transmissions. Well, this really isn't an automatic transmission. It's a manual transmission that gets shifted automatically. You've got dual clutches. So one clutch runs first, third, fifth, and seventh. The other clutch runs reverse, second, fourth, and sixth. So it can shift on a millisecond. It's like eight milliseconds between shifts and nobody can shift better than that computer can shift. If you wanna shift it yourself, you've got the paddles there. Uh, we've got um, gigantic brakes up front here. Of course, everything up front here, the struts and all the extra bracing and everything that's up here just looking amazing. I mean, the engineering that went into this car is just phenomenal. Oil filters right under this little door here. We got just a couple tiny little scrapes here. Now, let me tell you, a normal curb comes up to about here. You see what the problem is? Don't run this end of the curb, guys. And this car is about two feet longer than you think it is when you're sitting in the uh, driver's seat. So make sure you park way back from the curbs or you'll be putting a new splitter on this thing. Now up front here, we've got uh, 20 inch rims. These are the carbon fiber because it's golden ticket. Uh, it does have the heat treating on here. That's some kind of NASA uh, heat treating stuff that they used on the uh, space shuttle. We got those gigantic Brembo brakes. The tire size is uh, 305 20s. And then look at that blue, man. The blue on the side of this car just, I mean, I'd call it electric blue. I just love the color of this car. Of course, you see the bottom side of the rockers all looking sweet. Then out back here, we got a little bit more rubber on the road. Uh, these are the Pilot Sport Cup 2s. Um, these are 315 30 20s out back. And again, Brembo brakes back here stopping it. The heat treating is not on these, and the offset on these wheels is just a little bit different. I found that out the hard way when I was switching them around on my car. Let's get under the hood. All right, under the hood here, we got the Predator engine, man. 5.2 liter, supercharged, 760 horsepower. She is a beast, guys. Um, when you get the uh, golden ticket car, you get the oil separator here, so any of the excess crankcase pressure goes through here to uh, pull out any oil for it, injects it back into the intake. Uh, of course, cold air, power brakes, uh, anti-lock brakes, power steering. I mean, it's got everything you need, man. We got carbon uh, 
composite pieces up here, keeping it light. The uh, strut tower brace here is magnesium. I, I mean, just everything about the car is just cool as can be. I mean, they really went all out. I mean, this is basically a race car that you can drive on the road, guys. So give us a call at 248-974-9513 and let Vanguard Motor Sales park this stream in your drive.